Hey guys, here we go again. This is another uh, addition that we added to the camper. Uh, when we change the stairs, uh, we still have the old ones on there. We're gonna take those off and we put a little toolbox that goes right up under it. So if you see here, this is the toolbox that we're gonna be putting to replace the stairs. And over here, These are the stairs here, and we're going to be getting rid of them because we bought the uh, new ones. All right, so stay tuned. Hey guys, as you see, the most important thing is is to get comfortable. And if you guys notice, always bring me a chair. And uh, this is a little tip. You guys get these packages with these big old foam. Nobody wants to take them when it's time to throw them away. They make great knee pads. So that's a little tip. All right, first thing we have to do is take this stairs apart. So we gotta see, we have two bolts on this side and two bolts on the other side. So, that's what we're going to get the wrench and start taking those bolts apart. About a 916th bolt. On it. You have to get a little ratchet wrench. They work beautiful in tight spots. You get two on each side. Lock that on it and a washer. And we do the same thing on the next side. Tap the bolts out. <clears throat> Never been taken out, so you gotta try to pry the bolts out. And the ones I haven't found with that one. There she goes. There was a little fight, but hey! We got her out. As we can see, we got her out. I don't know if you noticed, but it has a light in the back here right there we're going to be taking that off because once you get the uh tube box up there you won't be able to see the light anyway and what we did we put lights on each side to light up the stairs at night we put motion sensor lights so we're going to get rid of that and later on we might
do something with that because that's connected to a switch so we might run some undercarriage lights here later okay guys i did a little dry run uh, just to make sure everything lines up and stuff so right now i'm gonna show you what i did uh, i think you can see me uh, so i'm gonna slide this out right now and and these are the brackets that come with it. You have different bolt holes on the, on the frame of the camper. So I did a little dry run to make sure it would fit right. So we take these, uh, what I did is just got some regular nuts so I wouldn't have to sit here with the lock nuts and try to tie it in. So I'm gonna take those regular nuts off. You just put them on slightly. We didn't tie them down or nothing. Just to see how she would look and fit. So we get the washers and the lock nuts that comes with it. Put the washer on first. And then the lock nut. And you do the same thing on the other side. Hope you can get a good look at the brackets. Just like a little L brackets and the thing sits right on the top of it. So you get the washer and the lock nut, just like the other side. Put your washer on first. Lock that on, you go as much as you can by hand. Mines have a slot, so I want to make sure I slide it all the way over before I tighten it down. Okay, you have slots here 
is where the uh, nut and bolt go when you put up the uh, box. Take the box. here you see the holes for the other bolts get it lined up get your bolts slide to the slot Same thing, washer, lock nut. nuts it's a 11 millimeter so I got 11 millimeter wrench and ratchet and socket so this one also slides so I'm sliding this thing all the way to the back I actually have a little bumper in the back so I slide all the way to the back nice and even and get the washer in that. Put on the last one here.
Maybe get it nice and snug. We'll make sure it's nice and firm and even. Okay, it's gonna be tightened down. I always have a habit of over tightening things, so I gotta be careful. We take our first trip. I'll come back and check them. So right now, it closes. Beautiful. Now, if you notice, it has a little rocking side by side. All right. So what they have Called locking nuts. So, what I'm going to do, open it back up. And, uh, right inside here, it's like a bolt hole that you run these nuts through and they push up against the side to lock it to keep it from going from side to side. You basically thread the bolt, throw the nut on the bolt, and then put it in through here, screw it in. Screw it in, it comes out on the other side, hit up against the frame, and then you use the lock nut to lock it in place. Nice and tight. Beautiful. Now, basically everybody has the same key probably. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change this lock, which is real easy to do. And that way I have my own key. And that's it. I hope you found this useful. It's a nice way to uh, get rid of that excess space and you get a little more storage in the, on the uh, bottom of it. 
So thank you, and see you soon. Don't forget, hit the like button and subscribe, and any positive comments, we'll be glad to hear from you. Thank you, and take care. Hey, guys, coming back at you. Listen, uh, I had to do a little tweaking to the box. Uh, literally, had to take it back down. Um, didn't notice it takes four washers. So when you put the uh, bracket on, there's a uh, the bolt, there's a washer on both sides, and a lock nut. Same as the bottom. And the bracket has two slots in it. Each slot, each bracket has two slots, so you can adjust the box side to side. But tightens down, beautiful. So just remember to put all four washers on each bolt that you have. That's it. Thank you.